That's right, everybody's favorite little angsty teenage singer, Billie Eilish, just snapped on all the non-vegans out there, and it's something that we definitely need to talk about. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, what I like to do is take a look at what's happening in the YouTube community or pop culture and try to see what lessons we can learn from them. So if you're into that stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And if you're not following me on Instagram and Twitter, what are you waiting for? At The Rewired Soul. And you'll get updates about all the other stuff I'm doing. It's not just a YouTube channel. So if you need, if you need a little bit more Chris, make sure you're following me because because um, I'm trying to get more active on my blog and I just posted a new blog post that I'll put in the description below. I posted on my community tab. But anyways, it's something I learned about the importance of bathing every single day and self-care when you're struggling with depression. So there's a link to that blog down below as well as my social media. So you know when new blog posts go up, new podcasts and all that kind of stuff. All right, but yeah, Billie Eilish. Um, I saw this uh, on Twitter. I think it was retweeted by Anthony Fantano. Um, and it was from Billie Eilish's Instagram story. And it was a, a little message to non-vegans. All right, so here's what it said. I keep my mouth shut most of the time about this because I believe everyone should do, eat, and say what the, whatever they want. And I don't feel the need to shove what I believe in in anyone's face. But man, if you can watch the videos that I just posted and not give a crap, that it's you contributing by literally eating the creatures that are being fully tortured just for your pleasure, I feel sorry for you. I understand that meat tastes good, and I know you think you're just one person and it, quote unquote, won't change anything if you stop, but that's ignorant and stupid. If you have half a brain, you should know one person adds up. Be smarter. All right, so I have some things to say about this. Now, how am I qualified in any way, shape, or form to discuss this topic? Well, little known fact, I have actually been a vegetarian for almost two years now, right? I actually said something on Twitter. I, I retweeted uh, a comment that I got, or I tweeted a comment that I got. Like, a lot of people don't think I'm a vegetarian because I'm overweight, but just trust me, I'm, I'm living proof that overweight vegetarians do exist. But anyways, I wanted to discuss this and what Billie Eilish said as a vegetarian and, you know, just talking about my experience as well as just some of the things I don't like in the vegetarian slash vegan community. Now something that I haven't taken the full leap on yet is being vegan, all right? There is a lot that I eat that is fully vegan and I might discuss that a little bit later in this video. But anyways, when it comes to Billie Eilish, something that I wanna discuss is, it's not, it's not the best method to get people to change or make this world a little bit better or different by trying to shame them into this, right? Like, I didn't see the videos that she watched, like, personally. I don't watch those. Like, I know they're happening, okay? And I, when I became vegetarian, it was mainly for health reasons. Um, I had high blood pressure seven years ago when I was uh, getting clean and sober. I was diagnosed with congestive heart failure, high blood pressure runs in my family. So my doctor, you know, was talking to me about it. I said, you know what? My best friend and my beautiful girlfriend are, you know, vegetarian or vegan, and I'm gonna give it a try. So I made a commitment to try it for one month just to see what happened. My blood pressure went down and I lost 20 pounds, all right? So it started out as a health thing for me, okay? But like, we know, like we know what's happening on these farms, right? Like, so I don't watch these these videos that people share. Like, like I know what's happening, I'm against it, I don't like it, but that's, that's my thing. But a lot of people don't watch it just because they choose not to know where their meat's coming from. But here's the thing. Like I said, I don't believe in shaming people into your way of thinking, and I feel it makes like, vegans and vegetarians look really bad. Now, don't get me wrong, Billie Eilish has a massive audience. Massive audience. So like, when I look at what she's doing and the amount of influence that she has, like, don't get me wrong, I guarantee, I guarantee she has some fans who are going to see her saying these things and they're gonna be little Billie Eilish fangirls and be like, oh snap, Billie Eilish doesn't want me to eat meat, so I'm not gonna eat meat. That's cool. By the way, if you're about to make the switch, talk to a doctor or talk to people who have experience being vegetarian or vegan to make sure you're getting all the other vitamins and everything like that. You might just have to take a multivitamin 
But also one of the myths about being vegetarian and vegan is that like these substitutes do not have all the vitamins and that's not true at all. Like many of the foods that myself and Tristan eat have all of the natural vitamins that you're gonna need. All right, but in, in any case, like you can take, you know, multivitamins and things like that. Now, again, like I mentioned with like Billie Eilish, I don't believe in like this kind of like pushing this agenda and she says she's not, but like, when you, when you have an influence of millions of people and you're saying like you're dumb and ignorant, like you kind of are like, ugh, like kind of pushing it. But anyways, let's talk about the ethical side of these, this. So again, like I started out with my vegetarianism because of health reasons, but then it turned kind of ethical, you know? Like I have my, you know, my amazing cat, Maya, um, and things like that. But I did start thinking about this and something that I'm really into is like, um, Buddhist philosophy, not the religion, but the philosophy and like loving kindness and trying to express like empathy for all beings, right? And like that, that kind of, aside from losing weight and my blood pressure going down, like it kind of helped me stay off of meat, right? Aside from that, there's some bomb meat sus substitutes out there. But anyways, I'll never forget this. In, in Las Vegas, a couple years ago, right around the time I first became vegetarian, like um, there was uh, this like U-Haul truck that was pulled over. If I have a, a, a screenshot of the news story, I'll put it, uh, put it up. But like the U-Haul the was like filled, filled with like Pomeranians, all right? These little dogs. And they were like crammed in these little cages and everything like that. And people freaked out. And like, luckily some animal shelters and veterinarians took all these dogs in and I like, treated them back to health. And there was this huge push to get them adopted and everything like that. And I remember just one of my friends here in Las Vegas sharing this on Facebook and saying like, you know, like why are we so, um, you know, empathetic towards dogs, but things like this are happening to farm animals on a daily basis. And I was like, dang, that makes sense. And it just, it's just something that I had to think about because I was early on in my vegetarianism and didn't know if I was gonna stay on it. But it's something I had to think about, like why am I so compassionate towards like household pet animals, but not other animals out there, all right? So again, I'm not trying to push anything on you, but these are just things that I think about. So when I look at Billie Eilish and what she put out there and everything and like, Girl, I am part of like some vegan groups on Facebook and the insanity that goes on there. Like, if you wanna see pure craziness, go get in a vegan Facebook group and watch Vegan on Vegan Hate. It will blow your mind. So I just wanna end this video with some suggestions I have to anybody out there. Like, the first thing that we have to do is just acknowledge like ethically, like what's going on. A lot of us, you know, wouldn't, wouldn't agree with it if we were there, right? If we know about it. But a lot of us choose ignorance because that's bliss and everything. So here's here's my suggestion. Like one of them, if you wanna see a great, great, great um, video, I'll try to put the clip down in the description below, but it's between Joe Rogan and Russell Brand. Joe Rogan is a hunter, all right? He hunts his food and eats it. You have Russell Brand who is a vegan. And Joe Rogan is all about the ethical treatment of animals. So he talks about like, doing it in a humane way and like um, certain farms that he will buy eggs from and things like that. You know what I mean? So there, if you're gonna keep eating meat, like I, I'm of no you know, illusion that people are gonna watch this and keep eating meat, just like try to think about those things in like the ethical way. Because the other issue that we have to think about is global warming, right? These factory farms are contributing to global warming, which kind of sucks. Okay, so what we all have to realize, and like, even though I don't agree with how Billie Eilish said it, like, what we have to realize is that we do make a difference, just one by one by one. I remember after being vegetarian for a year, right? I remember just going to the store and just wondering like, okay, like, it's all about supply and demand. Like, the grocery store that I go to by my house, do they order, you know, less things because I'm not buying as much meat as I was, right? Because when they're looking at their numbers and saying, okay, we're not selling as much, maybe we don't need as much. So then the farms aren't going to need to produce as much. You see what I mean? So like, I'm also a, a realist and something I've been talking about a lot lately when I'm talking about mental health and kind of improving your mental health and everything like that, it's baby steps. All right, like yeah, saying like cutting out meat entirely can be overwhelming, it can seem crazy and everything like that. 
So something that you might benefit from if it's just something you're even on the fence about or you just want to like help in some way, shape or form, what I suggest is like pick one day a week, two days a week, three days a week, whatever you think you can do to be like, okay, this one day I'm going to be vegetarian, all right? And listen, listen baby, like research your city find you a good vegan restaurant or just find a vegan restaurant, right? Like most are vegan and not vegetarian, but you will find some amazing, amazing meat substitutes. By the way, while I'm on the topic, one of the dumbest things that I ever hear is, well, if it tastes like meat, you might as well just eat meat. Like, what? What? It's <laughs> like, no animal died. Like, for example, Carl's Jr. now has the Beyond Burger. Tastes, mwah phenomenal and I hear more and more fast food places are doing that but anyways just try to do one day where you cut out meat products all right like even I I'm not full-blown vegan okay so that means I still have dairy like milk cheese um, I still eat eggs and things like that but I'm trying to do my part as a vegetarian so if you add up all the people if people just did this one day a week like even my son my son's 10 years old, been vegetarian for about two years, so my son still eats meat when he's at his mom's house, but when he comes over here, like, I do get him some meat products and he better eat it because I don't, but anyways, um, I do make him a lot of vegetarian meals and he absolutely loves it. If you guys want me to make a video or like some like uh, Instagram post or tweets about like vegetarian meals and things like that, that I make and what I buy at the store, let me know down in the comments below. There's a lot of stuff. If you go down to the vegetable aisle at your grocery store, you will find some dope vegetarian substitutes, whether it's like um, Beyond Meat, uh, corn, um, what is it, Famous Star? What it, what's the one, the star? Morning Star, Morning Star. All right, there are some good vegetarian products and just, check it out like get a little thing of like chicken nuggets or like um i like their chicken sandwiches too like they're pretty dope but anyways just check it out if you want me to do some videos on that and talk about that more let me know down in the comments below all right so billy eilish i appreciate what you're trying to do but just dial it back just dial it back just a few notches all right girl but anyways if you're a vegan or vegetarian and you like made the switch like let me know like how the transition was for you or what what foods you buy or where you go for recipes and all that kind of stuff all right let me know down in the comments below but anyways that's all i got for this video if you like this video please give it a thumbs up if you're new make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell because I make a ton of videos. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter at The Rewired Soul so you can stay up to date about blogs and everything like that. The new blog is down in the description below, but make sure you're following me, all right? And a huge, huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. You are all amazing. And if you would like to help support what I'm doing here, click or tap on that Patreon icon right there, all right? Thanks again so, so much for watching. I'll see you next time.